Hey, I'm Adam Jesko from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, I am going to review the Fortiva credit card, an unsecured credit card targeted to bad credit customers. But before I do that, I would ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, if you have not already, and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So, Fortiva, this is a company that targets bad credit customers for unsecured credit cards. Now, there are plenty of uh, companies out there that do this, and I have to say that, you know, from everything I know of Fortiva, I think they're more on the worst end of the spectrum as far as these uh, kind of companies go in terms of the fees and the uh, interest and all of those sorts of things that they are offering people. Now, I should say right up front, I try to be fair to companies that offer these type of unsecured credit cards to bad credit customers because of the fact that if you have bad credit, you know, you have a bad credit history and you have something in your past that shows that you did not do so well with credit. So if these companies are offering you unsecured credit, you're going to have to assume that you are going to pay, uh, you know, higher fees and you are going to have higher interest rates. So this is not a surprise and it's something that, you know, I don't necessarily like to bash the companies for doing. Now, I would tell you that I would always suggest that you instead get a secured credit card instead of getting one of these cards that has, uh, you know, low credit lines and high fees and interest but we will get back to that. So anyway, these kind of companies, uh, you know, they're taking on a higher risk. So you can see why the uh, fees and interest are going to be higher and obviously they want to turn a profit as well. So we don't want to, uh, you know, just summarily say that they are all bad. But in my opinion, Fortiva takes things just a little bit too far. Now, Fortiva offers their cards on an invitation-only basis, so you can't just uh, jump online and you know check out the offers and apply for one. They send out offers that are somewhat customized to uh, you know who you are and how bad or not so bad your credit history might be. So, if you have a very very bad credit history, they're going to send you a worse offer than someone whose credit history is sort of bad, but is isn't quite as bad, uh, you know, as somebody that maybe has had a bankruptcy or has defaulted multiple times or whatever. So depending on where you fall in the sort of bad credit sphere or bad credit range, you could see a different offer from Fortiva. Now, while Fortiva's offers may be all different, I did manage to find sort of a generic credit card agreement that shows what a prospective cardholder could get. And what that shows is that the interest rate could go anywhere from 21.99% on the low end, which isn't really all that low to begin with, but it could be as high as 36%. In terms of an annual fee, in the first year, it could be no annual fee or it could be uh, a $49 annual fee. But then after that first year, it could be a $49 annual fee all the way up to a $175 annual fee. Now, in addition, there may be or probably will be a maintenance fee and this may I'm having a hard time saying maintenance. Maintenance fee is a yearly fee that is actually uh, doled out every single month. So you might have a maintenance fee that's uh, 60 bucks, or you might have a maintenance fee that is as high as $159. And that will then be charged to you either, you know, on the low end, five bucks a month, or as much as $12.50 per month. So, you know, once you get to, especially that second year, if you have $175, dollar annual fee and then you're also paying a big uh, maintenance fee and you've got a you know, super high interest rate. You're talking about paying well over $100 just to have this card. You probably don't have a uh, great credit line. You have a very high interest rate. We're sort of starting to approach the, uh, you know, levels of my most dreaded credit card, the first premier credit card. So, uh, you know, maybe you get lucky and you get a little bit better rates and fees with this card than what I'm telling you. But on the high end, this card is not something something that you want to mess with. Now, like I said, I like to be fair to these kind of companies. Obviously, if you are serving bad credit customers, in some cases you are doing a service for those bad credit customers. If it allows them to rebuild their credit, uh, that is not always a bad thing. And sometimes those fees and interest are going to come with the territory. However, 
In the case of Fortiva, if you do a little digging into the company, what you find out is that this is a uh, card that is issued by Bank of Missouri, but the uh, company that actually, uh, you know, sort of created the card and markets the card is called Atlanticus Holdings or maybe Atlanticus Services Corporation, and then I think they're like under Atlanticus Holdings Corporation. Well, when you look back in history, you find out that Atlanticus Holdings Corporation used to be a company called CompuCredit that used to issue or market a lot of other bad credit cards and at one point got in trouble with the US Federal Trade Commission to the extent that they were forced to refund over $100 million to the customers of these cards that they have because the FTC said essentially that there were deceptive marketing practices. So there is a history here, uh, you know, with this company. So they're Fortiva now, but they've been a lot of other things uh, in the past, or they've backed a lot of other things in the past. And so that makes me even a little more leery of dealing with them. Now, I should mention here that there is a second way that you could get to know Fortiva, and that is through retail credit cards. So Fortiva provides what is called second look financing to some retail credit cards. And what that means is if you apply for a retail credit card and you are rejected for it and that retailer has some sort of relationship with Fortiva, what might happen is the initial bank who is their partner might say, no, this person's credit is too bad. And then that retailer might say, well, let's ask Fortiva if they'll take on this bad credit customer. And Fortiva might look at you and say, okay, we'll take this person. And you know, obviously they would probably charge you a higher interest rate and some fees, but if you would initially be rejected, there's the possibility that you would then be accepted via Fortiva. Now I know, uh, I believe currently, and I know in the past that Home Depot is one of the uh, retailers that has used Fortiva or however these connections all happen. There are uh, Home Depot credit cards out there that are Fortiva credit cards. So not the one that Citibank issues, but if you get rejected for that, you could end up getting one from Fortiva. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my pitch for secured credit cards. The problem with unsecured credit cards for people with bad credit like the Fortiva credit cards is that you usually have small credit lines, you've got high fees, you've got high interest rates. Yes, they may help you build credit, but you are spending an awful lot of money in order to get yourself there, and they're not necessarily helping you build credit all that quickly. So, especially if you're going to pay these high fees, you know, think about, uh, you know, paying $175 plus every year to have an unsecured credit card. Well, you might as well take that money and put it into a deposit toward a secured credit card. So if you don't know what a secured credit card is, you have to put down a security deposit in order to get the card. You use it like any other credit card. After that, you get a credit line that is essentially equal to whatever your deposit was, but that deposit just sits there. You don't spend that deposit every month. You use the card like regular, you pay it every month. And as you make your on-time payments, this can help you build credit. When you no longer want the card anymore or or you get upgraded to a better card, you can get that security deposit back, assuming that you have paid off all your bills. Now, the reason I like a secured credit card more is not only the fact that uh, you know it doesn't have the fees and interest of most of these you know unsecured cards that target bad credit customers. But even more so, there are a lot of secured credit cards that come from major credit card issuers. So if you get in with some of these credit card issuers, that could mean that you are either going to be upgraded or you might be more likely to get accepted for one of their cards down the road. So in terms of secured credit cards, the one that I generally recommend is the uh, Discover Secured Credit Card. This is a uh, you know decent card from a company that you know is sort of known in the uh, credit card space and this is a card that after a certain amount of time they basically are saying we're going to look at you and if you make your uh, payments on time we are going to upgrade you to a regular credit card so if you're trying to uh, you know improve your credit doesn't it make more sense to go with a company that you can see a future where you could potentially be getting a better credit card where you're not going to pay uh, you know these annual fees and these maintenance fees and all that sort of stuff than to you know take on a card like Fortiva where you know it's 
it's really only going to do so much for you. You're going to pay a lot of money and it's not necessarily going to build your credit any faster than the secured credit card. So yes, the secured credit card requires you to put down a deposit. But in, you know, especially in the case of a card like this, that deposit is not necessarily any worse than paying all these fees because you might only have to put down a 200, 300, uh, you know, whatever security deposit to get it. So go for the security credit card. So that's it. Fortiva gets the thumbs down from me, but if you have had an experience different than I might expect, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Or if your experience has not been so good, I'd like to hear that in the comments below also. Otherwise, I thank you for watching, and as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews and we have personal finance news, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.